Now to a head-on collision that claimed the life of a Trenton man and his four-year-old daughter. It also sent his six-year-old son to the hospital. It happened about 3.30 this morning on Route 29 near Route 129 in Hamilton Township, Mercer County. Annie McCormick is live at Capitol Health Fald Medical Center where one child is still in serious condition. Annie, the other driver, was going the wrong way on the highway? According to police, and they say that they have charged the suspect and he is in custody right now. Seven year old Luis Mario does remain here at Capitol told by family members that he did suffer cuts to his head and also a broken arm. His younger sister did die in this crash. Family members also say Luis Mario's mother is now at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia waiting for his younger sister's body to be released. They are the youngest victims in this tragic and deadly Father's Day crash. According to police, seven-year-old Luis Mario survived, but according to family, his four-year-old sister, Jasmine, died at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. The children's father, 28-year-old Jorge de Leon of Trenton, died at the scene. According to police, 27-year-old Manuel Gutierrez Vasquez drove the wrong way on Route 29 and hit the minivan carrying all three, while Jorge drove back from a baby shower in Boston in town around 3.30 this morning. Emergency responders flew Jasmine to CHOP and transported Luis Mario by ambulance to Capitol Health. New Jersey State Police charged the suspect with a DUI, death by automobile, aggravated assault, operating a motor vehicle while unlicensed, causing death and serious bodily injury. Police say the suspect traveled south in the northbound lane of Route 29 near 129 where he collided with De Leon's minivan head on. Today, family and friends gathered at DeLeon's sister's Trenton home. The Guatemala native moved to New Jersey when he was just five. Family members say he had four children. Besides Jasmine and Luis Mario, he had a 10-year-old with another woman and most recently a two-month-old with his girlfriend Judy. Today, through a translator, Judy said she hopes justice is served. She feels like, as like it wasn't right and that it was wrong for him doing that, to crash into George when he was in his right lane. It wasn't his fault. And that she's not asking for much for him, but for the, you know, for police and stuff to, like, get him. And it's not clear what Gutierrez Vasquez was under the influence of. Police tell us that tests are pending. He also faces federal charges from the Immigration Customs and Enforcement Agency. We are told it's possibly due to his immigration status. It's not clear if he is legal. Right now, he does remain in Mercer County Jail on $250,000 bail. For now, we're reporting live in Trenton. Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Rob. Thank you, Annie. The